Surface of the Sun uh, is the very last track. Um, I made it in mind um, to be the last track. I actually made this track, uh, the, the second one I made, and I said I have to put this at the end. And I made Montana first, so, and yeah, so I made Montana first, and uh, that way we could go from materialism to holy shit, we're made out of the sun, and that's fucking crazy, and, you know, the sun gives us life, we harvest, we harvest sun, we harvest plants, um, the iron that moves our, the oxygen along in our blood wasn't possible until a star exploded, so we are the sun, and this, this is me, or us, or, you know, whoever, realizing that, and, uh, it's, cover of a of um, a piece of the soundtrack from a movie called Sunshine and you should go and watch th you should go and watch it after this because the the soundtrack and the sound design is very underrated and it's incredible and I connect to that film in a lot of ways um, so this basically marks the end of the journey um, and we're on the surface of the sun. Uh, as opposed to the world is ours, we need a mansion, rah, 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 I need money. And uh, we've been through everything from, uh, uh, you know, materialism to drug addiction or any kind of addiction to uh, um, kind of being reborn not being happy with the industry, uh, you know, having a bit of fun, loving, and then losing love, and uh, losing someone, and then being empty, and then now we, I've just realized everything, and now we're ready to uh, be happy once again, and that's kind of the loose um, esoteric theme of this is, uh, you know, that everything is just a journey and a dream and we're all on a ride together um, and it acts as kind of like a vehicle into the next album I'm doing and um, I'm not gonna say when I'm starting it but yeah I guess I'll say when I'm starting it but it's gonna be um, ten times better than this album I'm I'm hoping and uh, a lot more improvement and a lot more kind of uh, not more so techniques, but more, more of a deeper message because you can only go deeper than this. And you know, I try to put messages and have a, have a theme. I tried to have a theme for this, and my last one didn't really have a theme, but it also had, it it didn't have an overall theme, but it kind of touched upon some things. And that's kind of hard to do with just something that's a thumpy beat. But you know, it's how. It's how you look into it. So we're going to start at the beginning, naturally. I want to just, uh, the pure, rawest, brightest piano I could think of, or make, or use. You notice that we have um, the sound effects in there. It's basically that, and uh, things are introduced slowly. Now here's where uh, it does an inversion, and um, I really enjoy it. And uh, if you want to know the original, just look up uh, Kappa's Jump.
kind of goes and it crescendos into this. Basically, the beginning part, and then it goes with you know your kick and bass and uh, stereotypical stereotypical um, uh, dance music sound. It repeats the same uh, kind of overall melody. powerful in the movie you have to watch the movie and then you'll you'll be able to start maybe appreciating this if you want to appreciate anything and uh, it repeats again It just ends and has a long tail, and that's where the, the next album will come in. I took, at the end of it, I took all of the um, all of the tracks, put them in one long one, and then uh, mastered them all kind of the same, like together in the same way. That's why the, the actual uh, album may sound a bit different in that way. That way, so it sounds like one large, um, uh, it sounds like uh, it's the same track and like none of them really sound totally different they're all on the same uh, spectrum really and they're all the same volume and uh, the next um, I'm guessing I don't know I'll, I'll do one a year but it, it really it really depends I'd like to do the next one uh, as a direct sequel to this like this one's the sequel to the first one so it'll be I'll have a trilogy a trilogy of doom but uh, I don't know. I want to put a lot more effort into the next one, and uh, you know, have more people appreciate it. Like I don't fucking I don't care if like only twenty people listen to it, as long as as long as they enjoy it. And it's it's mainly for me to kind of express myself. And you know, like I said at the beginning, if I if I died tomorrow I'd be like here listen to this this is me you know it's like I'm not sad because you know uh, death is an illusion and we're all on this weird fucking ride together and uh, we're only here for a short time and what you do is you just kind of spend your life doing what you want to do and that could be creating that could be making other people happy you know you could 
you know, start a business or do whatever as long as you're kind of true to yourself. So now I'm going to turn my bullshit filter off and uh, get these online for you.